What's up, Primal Rival? And man, this whole week, or last week, I've been watching a bunch of videos on vulnerability, connectedness, and art. And it's been getting me thinking, and it's hit me real deep because vulnerability is something I struggle with. Being able to put myself out there and express myself completely every day um i can kind of muster myself up to do it once a week twice a week um put my stuff out on a blog uh do a video once a week and it's it's hard because it's putting my face out there it's putting who i am um showing everyone who the real me is versus this persona that i may have um because of the way i look or how I talk um, so it's been a real groundbreaking type of weekend for me just listening to these things where vulnerability is so important being able to open yourself up and let everything out because that's where creativity and who you really are just let go of all these fears that are holding you back um so i'm trying to not fear anything anymore i'm trying to just let go of my fears of people judging me of what i do who i am i'm a mover i love moving i'm a health nut i love researching i love reading why should I hide that from anyone? If I enjoy it, that's awesome. And same goes for you guys. If you enjoy something, go do it. Screw what everyone else says. If it's making you better, then go do it. Because that's what matters, is being able to express ourselves and get better every day. So my thing right now is putting more content out. I'm working on just being able to talk in front of a camera for more than two minutes once a week. You know what I mean? It's tough for me to be able to stand here every day and just be like, open the gates. And same thing with my writing. I write a whole lot, but a lot of it's just personal stuff that gets passed away and only I get to read it and I think it's to build connectiveness to build a community to build a culture change everyone should be able to share all the stuff that they're making even if it's personal stuff we should be able to share it without worrying about being judged and all these things these negative energies um so that's what I've been working on um, this weekend and going into this week is my big push for me is to move more out in public. Um, not because I want to show off and or anything like that. I want to just do what I love doing um, and enjoy it. And out in public, when I go to commute to school, I'm in the middle of DC. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to start moving around being barefoot outside, you know, show people who I really am versus, oh, I'm a college student, I go to culinary school, I'm an art school student, I gotta wear shoes and wear pants. I'm still gonna wear probably shorts, because that's not very uh, publicly okay to just not wear pants, but, uh, you know, I'm just gonna start doing what I do and I'm, I'm different, I know that. You're different, everyone's different. So I'm gonna express that a little bit. Um, still be professional, and that's the thing. It's that balance between professional and doing it, doing you. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on this week. Um, definitely just being expressed myself, and especially since I got new gig up at Gold's, man, it's going to be selling out to the man, commercialized gym, 
it's going to be incorporating trying to shift people away from this massive cultural um, paradigm of bench pressing and machines and treadmills for hours and cardio and I gotta go to the gym to work out it's like nah man we we can change that so I'm gonna be trying at the heart of it in a commercialized gym I'm gonna be attacking it um, just trying to change people's minds about moving and just that, that simple act of moving, not working out, moving, exploring mobility, their stability, exploring. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is that you hook up to a machine, you're not exploring. Like there's so limited sensory input that you need stimulus from your environment. Be barefoot, just walk around outside. When you walk your dog, be barefoot. I do that every day. I I spend as much time barefoot as I can because that's just more information I'm getting from my environment. I explore different ranges of motion, just different things. Working working out, being able to deadlift and kettlebell workouts and all these things are tough for me on like a Monday, Wednesday because I commute for five to six hours a day. And then I do school and then I you know what I mean? Like, it's not most opportune moment to work out, but I can move. I just did 10 minutes of just straight moving, hit a stopwatch and go. You know what? There's a bunch of stairs back there. I just crawled back up them, jumped off, get up and off the ground, like a couple reps. Like, just no matter way, I did like arm above your head, two arms above your head, without and just get up off the ground that's feeding me my body so much information it's flooding my brain with information about my body and my environment that going to a gym and working out that's not giving it that's not giving you all that stimulus so that's what we need to change is this idea of working out not everyone needs to work out everyone needs to be moving more, to be exploring and learning about themselves. I think that's the biggest thing. So being vulnerable and moving, be yourself, learn about yourself. That's a big thing. Be having self-awareness of who you are. And that begins with simple things like how well do you move? That says a lot about who you are. Just go barefoot. Can you go barefoot? If not, that's a huge thing. Humans should be able to go barefoot. We should be able to walk without having corrective shoes. And if that's an issue, maybe that's something to explore, read into more. You're learning about yourself. Don't just go to Dr. Scholl's and get some slide-ins just because it's easy. No, go, if your feet hurt, go read about it. Go learn techniques to kind of fix it. Go get tools. Um, that's a big thing is having the right tools for the job. Moving is like the ultimate tool because we can explore. But sometimes, and a lot of time, a lot of people need a lot more work. We need extra tools to help us out. So um, make sure you haven't using the right tools. But find those red flags. If you can't walk barefoot that's a red flag if you can't squat if you can't touch your toes those are some red flags that you need to be accounting for you need to be like man I need to read into this more because I think I should be able to do these things everyone should be able to do these things go find things that you enjoy doing have some standards and find red flags constantly always be looking for flags and then just start working towards them just start click 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 might not be that easy but you know what it's a work in progress and you're getting better and that's what it really means is if you're getting better 
man. We, we, we rolling. So vulnerability. Let, let someone know about who you are if you haven't. Just go create something. Go express yourself. I know it's hard, but you know that's for focus on the positive things that you can express yourself. And then once you get comfortable with someone, let those negative ones, those hurtful things come out. But make yourself vulnerable so you can achieve more. Get real with yourself. Sit down and really be like, what are, what are things I need to work on? I'm, I'm human. I'm a person. We have flaws. What are my flaws? Get real with yourself. Sit down once a morning or this week. This week, sometime in a morning or at night and just by yourself in the dark and just be like, bro, what are my flaws? Just talk to yourself out loud. Make it real. Don't just think it in your head and be like, oh, that's just a thought. No, speak it and allow it to be real. Make it real, tangible, and then get real with yourself. Be completely honest. And then don't just let that fester in your head. Just go after it. Pursue it and go be it in the face. So be vulnerable, move more, do what you love, and always get better. All right. Have a fantastic week, guys. I'm going to be putting more stuff out. So let's get it.